So this, this pattern, I, I would say, is kind of, it falls into the, the necrobiotic, palisaded necrobiotic granuloma pattern, right? Where you kind of have zones of necrosis slash, it looks kind of like necrosis, but when we go closer, it's really like dead and degenerated collagen. That's again, necrobiosis is like a fancy way of saying collagen that's devitalized. Well, collagen's already extracellular. How, it's not even alive, right? It's a, it's a extracellular protein made by fibroblasts. So how do we know that collagen is dead uh, when it's not really alive to begin with? Well, the way I think of it is that usually collagen has fibroblasts with it, right? So the dermis normally has a, a normal population of fibroblasts. But here we've got a bunch of collagen with like basically no fibroblast nuclei. So that's what I think of is that when you have, it's pink and it begins to lose the fibroblasts, that's when I start thinking that's like necrosis of the collagen or necrobiosis of the collagen. People have pointed out that that word is kind of a misnomer, and I agree, but it's a word that we've been using for a long time and I think is, is understandable at least. So this, this dead or degenerated collagen layered in between areas of histiocytes that are kind of lining up and forming like a fence or a barrier around the dead and dying collagen, that's the necro palisaded necrobiotic granuloma pattern. We see that in granuloma annulare. We see it in rheumatoid nodule. We see it in necrobiosis like Poitica diabetic corum. And we see it in this entity, NXG, or necrobiotic xanthogranuloma.